It's cool. Hey, it's a bonus only stream. Ah. Ugh. Already, indeed. Task manager. Details. First of all, RTX voice must go to high priority. Because my voice is important here. And next up. Omori. Okay, four processes of Omori. Let's just go on ahead and set them all to high. So, yeah. Content warning, as of every time I open this game, there are depictions of depression, anxiety, suicide, and oh so much, just everything with trauma. So make sure to keep that in mind to watch this. There's a reason that Aru has to sit these out. Sit these out? Sit these out. Also, I haven't been giving the photosensitivity warning, but apparently I fucking need that, potentially. I don't remember when I started getting fucking headaches like this, but... It's great to know that's just where my body's probably headed in the future. But without further ado... Let's tackle some side quests. What? Defaults to no, huh? Oh. I can't remember if this place was always shredded and missed. Oh, the bear's back! Got another joke now. Hey, it's me, Weeping Willow, the goddess of the lake. Thanks for the clams, I guess. They say that money can buy happiness, but apparently it's not working. Can you do something funny for me? Maybe tell a joke? Okay, what is it? Yeah. Oh, right, right. Really? You called me out here for nothing? <laughs> what a waste of time. Forgot about that. Also, wow.
This game is fucking second to none. In its ability to activate the headaches in my brain, apparently. Holy shit. Surface of the water is shimmering. Do you want to throw ten clams into the lake? We got two new jokes. Why couldn't the bicycle stand up by itself? It was too tired. <laughs> that joke. That joke was so bad. It just makes me want to. Alright, let's make her cry again. What lies at the bottom of the ocean and twitches? A nervous wreck. Ah, oh, it's just the same. Oh. Where? <laughs> okay, it was it was a lesser, a lesser where. My god, it is insanely hard for me right now to parse through these super simple cloud effects. Like, what the fuck is going on with my brain? Oh! That's my teddy bear! You give the teddy bear to Candley. So happy to have you back, Teddy! Thank you for returning him to me. Here's a small gift for you. It's not much, but I hope you like it. Got a rubber duck. Come on, Teddy, what should we play first? Oh, I know, would you like a cup of tea? Oh, Teddy walks. It's totally a charm, isn't it? Forgot I was wearing the fedora. Ooh, defense plus seven. Fuck yeah. Floating there, your friend smile warmly behind you. Lift face as usual.
Right, right, right. Sprout wall colony. Michael. Okay. Oh, I can swim now. There's always something behind the waterfall. A golden hero sandwich. Oh, hey! It's this place. You guys want to get in? Mr. Jawsome told me the password once so I could complete one of his errands. I love these guys. They're loads of fun. What's the password? Hey, Hoagie! It's me, Hero! The password is... Hero, my man! Welcome, welcome! Doors unlocked, come right on in. at home, kiddos. Any friend of hero, a friend of mine. Can't serve fruit just to minors, you know the rules. You're always welcome to stay and enjoy the music. And gain five juice. Nice. Room. All right. Well. So that's what's hidden behind the waterfall. Because there's always something behind the waterfall. Oh wait, the castle's still there? I thought she... Oh no, I guess she just blew a hole up the, the stage. The person who needed the book was up here, I think. No? Oh, here's Sprout Mall Village. Oh, shit. I love Sweetheart so much so that I've acquired tickets to the most prestigious Sweetheart's Quest for Hearts event. Although I was unable to obtain an ultra-rare impossible to attain front row ticket, my reputable salesman has assured me that my ticket will still seat me in a prime location. He's assured me that the event will start very soon, so I've been waiting here in line for many, many hours. Hmm... I wonder if we should tell him. I'm sure that at any moment, the event will begin, and I will be guided to my seat by none other than Sweetheart herself. Now, as I am the truest Sweetheart fan, 
I could not even think of coming to the event without my most precious thing. Take a look at my beautiful... It's... 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 No. Most precious thing. I'll not be able to attend my dream event without it. You four. You are undoubtedly lesser sweetheart fans. I must ask you to find my precious thing and return it to me. You'll know it when you see it. Oh, <laughs> yuck, yuck. Okay. Wow, what an explosive finale. Isn't sweetheart just the greatest? Psst. Hey kids, I'll put it over here. That guy Pessy dropped something valuable, right? Something precious, perhaps. Might be able to help you with that. Hmm, this guy seems awfully shady. What's the catch? Shady mole. As, um, as you may already know, we sprout moles are very intelligent and high-functioning creatures. The smartest of us all, the mayor, is creating a device that will help sprout moles do their work at a much higher capacity than what was previously possible. A fabled device of legend that will complete will entirely revolutionize the modern world. He calls it the BED. The BED. What do you want that for? Hey, no questions. Get me a BED first, and then we'll talk. A BED, huh? That seems simple enough. Wait, Kel, I don't know. He seems awfully untrustworthy. Maybe we should just give him a BED and see what happens. If you think so, hero. But something about him really rubs me the wrong way. Where in the world is my good-for-nothing son? Last night I asked him to analyze the effects of my latest invention, the BED, and I'm longing to hear the results. I hope he's not doing what I think he's doing. So the BED is clearly not going to be a bed. All this training's made me so hungry. I wish I had some tofu right now. Give a tofu to the very sweaty sport mole? Hell yeah. Wow, thank you for the tofu. I really needed that. In return, here's my most prized possession. Please take good care of it. Got a big air horn. Is that... Is that just... No, okay. Well, I'll be damned. Yeet? How are you? I oh, know, I'm late! Could it be that I... No. I must have overslept. But... Sprout moles don't oversleep. This BED, it's... Powerful. 
maybe even too powerful. I'd better tell Dad about this. at the outlet. Where the fuck does that care package go? now. I started this, so I still must finish it. Dad! Dad! I'm here! How did we beat him here? By the gods, son, where have you been? I... I'm afraid I have some terrible news. What is it, son? No, you can tell me anything. Last night, I was testing the PED. I... 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 I overslept. No, it can't be! If what you've said is true, then... All my research... This invention... The PED... It's all... Too powerful. You see, my theory was that a BED would help Sprout Mold gain a good night's rest, and thus gain productivity throughout the day, but... What good is it if the very same invention causes Sprout Moles to lose productivity instead? The BED has the potential for greatness, but the current risk is too high. By the gods, what have I done? I cannot unleash this dangerous technology upon the world. So our humble village might never wake up again. Hey, you there, child. Take this BD away from us. We have no need for such power. You got a BD. Now be gone and speak not of what you saw here today. What, so your only reason for existing is to be productive? Maybe let yourselves rest. D do my eyes deceive me? I don't believe it. It's a BED. A real, genuine, bona fide BED. I'm gonna use it right this second. Hey, what are you doing? We helped you, so you should help us. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's with all the attitude? It may not seem like it, but I'm a mole of my word. Now, you didn't hear this from me, but earlier I believe I may have seen a sprout mole with a big pink bow digging through poor old Tessie's pockets. A sprout mole with a big pink bow? That sounds like Rosa. The menace Rosa's at it again. Come on, Omerty. We gotta make her hand over Tessie's thing no matter what. Okay, so it's just, it's just, uh, repeating. Ah, uh, no! Brother Mole and Sprout Mole Colony, okay.
Два. Nope. Right, her house is shaped like Sweetheart's head. She... Did she inhabit Sweetheart's castle? I say, of course we'd be in Sweetheart's Castle. Ha! <laughs> no going back to the library. Oh, it's so fucking silent. That's better. Ooh, what? When, where? The gasp! Could it be? Well, finally, some company. Yo, 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 yo. Been alone for so long. But after what feels like an eternity, at last I have an audience. Yo, 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 yo. Who am I, you ask? Why, I'm the great up-and-coming artist, Rokoko. This guy's kind of weird. Let's get out of here. Wait, don't go! Please, listen to my story. Excuse us. Please listen, I'm so lonely! Ahem. <clears throat> Right. Now where should I start? In the beginning was me. Crying in a pod in the middle of space. Witnessing my home planet blow up right before my eyes. I can still remember it all so vividly. Fire, fire, everywhere. And then darkness. When I awoke, I found myself in the middle of a desert, surrounded by a sea of brown sugar, in a strange land I soon learned to be called Orange Oasis. Even as a baby, I knew I was the sole survivor of my species, the last elf in the entire universe. So this is how it ends, I thought. Yet, in a stroke of luck, I was found by none other than a young donut by the name of Sweetheart. She brought me to her family, and they took me in as one of their own. Sweetheart and I, we grew up together. It was a rough childhood. We fought frequently. 
but she would always win. If I fought back, well... Anyway, I learned to run! And I got quite good at running. But, there's only so far you can run. Yes, it was a hard time. But even through that suffering, I stood firm. Because even then, I knew everything had a purpose. I was sent to this planet and survived for one reason and one reason only. To repopulate my entire species. <laughs> there is a conspicuous gap in my memory after this, so I'll fast forward a few years. At some point, Sweetheart and I fell deeply in love, became engaged, and moved to this giant castle together. We were inseparable, her and I, and we loved each other dearly. I would do anything for her, and I mean anything. I was ready to spend the rest of our lives together, to grow old, and to raise hundreds upon hundreds of children. Hmm. Thinking about it now, I wonder if I ever made that clear to her. Anyway, continuing my story. Alas, our good times must come to an end. As Sweetheart's fanbase grew, she and I grew apart as well. She began receiving gifts and letters from suitors from all over the universe, asking for a chance to prove their love to her. Being her one true love, I was vehemently against the notion, but she wouldn't have it. Sweetheart is for sharing, she would say. I wonder if that was the... the donut, the jelly donut uh, saying. Saying? Slogan. So, one night while I was asleep, Sweetheart and his servants tied me up into the inside the walls of a castle. I've been wandering aimlessly through the darkness inside the walls ever since. Surviving off old toast and tofu. Oh, corpses. Wow. Fast forward a few more years, and that brings us to now. Yes. You four are the first living beings I have seen since that fateful day. Wow, sir. That's a really, um... Shocking story. Oh, sweetheart. Why did you do it? Was I not good enough for you? Well, sorry about everything. We're going to go now. Wait, I'm not finished yet! Ah. <sighs> For the last few years, I've had a long time to think. I kind of gave up on my dreams and all that stuff now. It all seems so far away and pointless. So, I've decided to drop everything and become an artist instead. An artiste. And since I'm just starting out, I suppose I can give you all a discount. For my first FL masterpiece, I will only charge you 1,000 clams! Well, what do you guys think? 1,000 clams is kind of steep, isn't it? PLEASE COMMISSION ME! We... will think about it. Ah, yes! Yes, of course! Do take your time! I will stand right here until then. I got a thousand clams on me. Have you decided to assist me on my journey of self-discovery? Yes. Le Magnificent! 
leaves for town after some more adventuring. After all, greatness takes time. Thank you, thank you. I won't disappoint you! <laughs> oh yeah, just walking by, it's like, oh yeah, and then there's that hole in the wall. Oh, really? I'm, j I'm just walking by, it's like, oh yeah, there's that hole in the wall. I remember that hole. No, wait, I don't. Please return after some more adventuring. After all, greatness takes time. I won't disappoint you! Okay, so... He's gonna take a few minutes. It's gone. Chop, chop, chop. We keep cutting down these vines and just keep growing back. Okay, so it's just gonna be the same. the library, right? Incorrect. Oh dear, it seems that I've gotten myself lost again. Oh, how clumsy of me. Gave spooky mask map to Princess Ghost. Oh my, what is this? A map to Sir Top Hat's party? Why indeed it is. I must hurry to that party now. Being late is unbefitting a princess. Library is here? No. Fuck. Damn it. Fuck. Tastes like a beat. Yes, I think I did. the fuck? What the fuck do I need to take that book? I thought- I thought they were in the library. Yeah, yeah, unless it's like spoilers.
thought they were in the forest, but then I thought that I thought wrong. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought originally. I guess I'm glad I came back here to meet Rococo. Okay, near the entrance of the forest. Shit. There you are. To read, what to read? Have you read a book in the shelf for 20 times? Only have something more interesting to read. Whoa! Where'd you come from? Give an interesting book to Demi. Wow, this book sure is interesting. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Sorry, I must have zoned out for a moment there. Thank you for showing me this interesting book. I'll have to give you something in return. Let's see here. How about this one? There you go. This book's a collection of the saddest poems ever written. Please enjoy it. A deep poetry book. And where was I? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Nice. So, new item for Omerty, huh? Fuck yeah! Okay, good, good, good. Alright, everything's more or less back to normal. I was wrong. Oh, that's right, everybody else got jobs, too.
You know what? Yeah. I actually didn't. I just uh, encountered them along the way back to Basil's house because I wanted to see if anything changed there. But it was a good coincidence. Kel's doing just fine. sinking. Small plants, they look a little sad. A bookcase, it's a little dusty. Oh, hey! Okay, so I can't look out the window. That's probably for the best. Oh my god, the floor is sinking. That means that eventually it will be a hole in the ground that I can go down.
Sorry. Such low level shits, not gonna give me shit. I'm sure, they're probably better at navigating than I am, but still. Going to get lost again? Oh, hi. Huh? Is this a map? Wait, I can see Top Hat's seal on it! By golly! This must be directions to the party! Thank you so much, kind stranger! I'll talk to you at the party! I thought I got one of the keys from up here. I guess maybe it closes up on its own. I haven't told anyone this before. But sometimes when I'm looking up at my kite, I catch a glimpse of a dark void in the sky from the corner of my eye. I used to see it very rarely, but these days it's been happening much more frequently. I wonder if it means anything. Uh, I'll actually be right back. I'll try and be back within uh, about five minutes. Hear me. Wait, why? That should be on top of me. There we go. Alright. Fear be. And I'm back. Right on time. Oh, oh. Right. Take a caffeine pill. 
so that I can make sure that I am awake. What I need to be. Place that I forgot to go to before. Let's get that care package. Hair packed up in its destination. Oh, I just realized. SpaceX husband is totally depressed again, isn't he? A mark of anger and sadness. when I said this, but it's tough being a space pirate. Again, five juice! I just realized already has the, the saddening attack, so yeah. After Sweetheart aired her final episode, some sprout moles are starting to move back to the colonies. This is prime real estate! Many were lost in the second great move, but sacrifices must be made for progress. This is prime real estate! Sprout Mole super glue to the wall, that's right. Much roomier here than back in Sprout Mole Village. Maybe even too roomy. Hey. Huh? What's that? You have a package for me? You gave the care package to Brother Mole. Hey, this is from my brother. Wow, there's 99 tofu or tofu in here. This is the best gift ever. He knows me so well. Thanks for the delivery. You know, I was saving this for a rainy day. But now I have my care package. I won't need it anymore. You got life jam. Hmm. Slurp. Tofu. So good. 
Nice. Life jam is a good thing to have. So did Rosa move back here? A new traveler is living in my home. It's almost small, but it is mine. Except for that other guy in there building stuff. It's practical state. My friends are slowly returning! Well, at least most of them. Ah, uh, rip. I don't know how I feel about having a roommate. I hope they will wash my dishes for me. I don't know how I feel about having a roommate. I hope they will buy groceries for me. We sprout moles are highly indulgent creatures! I don't know how I feel about having a roommate. I hope they will fold the laundry for me. Wait. Where? What? How do I... Oh, right, there's another ladder down. That's right. Ah, yeah. Get the fuck. No! Get the fuck out of here. I don't want to fight. I mean, I guess it's worth exploring around to see if there's any other uh, things going on that I'd want to know about. What about the piano barn? Still locked. Okay, fine, I'll kill you. Hundred eighty, that's nothing. Ah. Uh. Oh, thank God. Okay. Watching the stars at night makes everything else in the world seem so small. Isn't the sky beautiful? It's nice to know there's so many out there. So many others out there share the same view. Aubrey's butt certificate, so majestic, so beautiful. Okay. So, Rosa wasn't there. I should probably recheck Sweetheart's castle, because I didn't really do much with it. Unless just be wasting my time there. Which I'm entirely willing to hear. Uh, typical. I, I want to know if uh, I would just be wasting my time Checking the rest of Sweetheart's castle. Uh, 
Okay, so that's... So I'll, I'll check out, I'll check it out just in case, but, uh, yeah, I was, uh, assuming that Rosa was going to be in the chambers or something. In the royal chambers. I don't even remember how to get to the basement of the dungeon from here. Did all of them come from? Oh, first of all, I just realized. Okay, so Space Ex Husband isn't in here. I assume whatever it is, it's not there. see anything out of place. Oh my god, it's all the people I put in here. Help us! The, the door's open. Okay. Ah. You know what? A cab. Fuck you, Harold. Is it Jash? No, it's not. 
whatever the case. Sweetheart gone, my life has no meaning. If you can throw like a certain amount of money in the fountain and it does something. Wait, was that Rosa? I mean, I bet she just she just followed Sweetheart. Le Gasp, you have returned. Please admire my latest masterpiece. It is already flamed in the gallery ahead. Untitled. <laughs> by the grace, by the great artist, Rococo. Artist commentary. Hey, I'm just starting out, okay? Give me a break. Well, are you happy with my masterpiece? <coughs> Just so you know, as my skills become more formidable, my commission rates will also increase. The next masterpiece will cost you 5,000 clams. Will you continue to assist me on my journey of self discovery? Le Magnificent! Please return after some more adventuring. After all, greatness takes time. Greatness. I won't disappoint you! Okay. Yeah, Rosa was sticking around for it, but where the fuck is Rosa? I mean, probably wherever Sweetheart went, so... Let's let's go a little bit further in deep well.
music's so fucking good. I bet that's a bonus boss. Let's... Where's... I should have saved already. Oh, where are you going, buddy? Back it up nice and slow. This here's a toll road, see? Cough up the clams and get lost. Hey there, good chums. Pleasure to meet ya. So you kids want access to the toll road? Oh, sure. But while we're at it, let's make this a little fun. Why don't you just spin this wheel for me? 643 clams! That's someone's lucky number. It's also gonna be the price for your toll. You gonna pay up? How's one more spin for good measure? Excellent spin, buddy! Your toll is 1285. That sound good to you? No. Ah, oh, come on, don't be so stingy. Now hold on one second here. The numbers aren't adding up. You're gonna have to spin again. That's a shame. If you don't spin, you can't win. Uh... <laughs> Excellent spin, buddy! Your toll is 1888 clams. How fucking high is this gonna go? Hooey! We have a winner! 2558 clams is my final offer. Come on, you gotta take it. That's what I like to hear. Nice doing business with ya. Suckers. Man, fuck that guy. Floating air, your friends smile warmly behind you. Now, I tried going around. Oh, going like behind? Nah. Like, I, I tried going around him, but it didn't work. Oh. Oh, around up. Oh. I didn't know that would connect back down. Or else I probably would have taken it. Shiny telescope, you wanna take out, check out the view? Hell yeah. Come on. Where are you? I fucking know you're there, where are you? Wait, could it be? Is this actually just the peaceful fucking view of the city? The underwater city, I guess? Holy shit, there's no scary shit! I was expecting to see some sea life, but I wasn't expecting this. So fucking dark. I knew it. I knew it was a fucking enemy. Air horn, huh? Uh -huh. Okay, okay. Here's what's gonna happen. Here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna Pluto space line back because, oh my fucking god, am I afraid of losing this progress. I am coward.
Uh, hmm. I'm thinking about it. There's the ghost in the junkyard, isn't there? I'm not afraid of dying in the junkyard. puzzle. Okay. Look up by Mari. <laughs> I just saw a picture of you disappear. Scarecrow, I am stuck in the ground. Throw things at me and hear a strange sound. Okay. I just wanted to walk up and get your consent before I just started chucking shit at you. Oh! That's not straw! That's ramen! Wasn't that fun? Come again another day and try again. You can stop now. Okay. I want to bully him too hard for literally no reason. Oh, a trash candy? What is it, my birthday? Yes. 
so much more damage. Oh, damn it, that's right. Hang on, wait. I already got this joke, right? Yeah, I thought so. Popcorn, fuck yeah. There was a ghost here. Damn it! I missed the ghost! I remember where the ghost is now! I think this makes four ghosts. Here I am, alone as a clam. The one time I'm invited to a party and I don't know where it is. Yeah, spooky map, the glass goes. Oh, oh, I don't believe it. Is this a map to Top Hat's party? You're a real lifesaver, you know that? I'd better hurry. Sounds like it's gonna be a blast. Oh, I just realized they're all in their pajamas because they would hang out Saturday mornings.
guess that's how Sunny remembers them all. Holy shit, this thing's defense! <laughs> oh, yes. The perfect way to eat muscles. By stabbing them with a knife. Shucker. for opening muscles. Okay. <laughs> no, nah, I've got a knife. Oh, I made a wah sound. Hello. Oh, sea bunny. Fish bunny. Okay. Same difference. Fish bunny calls for friends? Oh, son of a... <laughs>
No! Oh thank fuck. 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 It's not going to be that great. Yeah. Run and gun? Yeah, that was a while ago. His speed wasn't crazy insane compared to like what I could make his uh, attack with the eye patch before, but now it is. Yeah. Still on furniture and miscellaneous knickknacks. A shelf full of various types of fruit juice. the hump of the arm called Shell toys. Try toys. Ah, ah, oh God, that just looks painful. Does that annoy everyone? <laughs> nah. Inner tube.
No, obviously that would be for her, but I already have the cool little... No, wait, hang on. Ah, yes, inner tube. Defense increases with more energy! Oh, fuck yes! Fuck yes! Nothing else really in here for now. Blueprints for a two-story house. No. Ah! <laughs> Damn it, I got away! There we go.
to hear a joke about construction? I'm still working on it. Excellent! Joke recorded. No, 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 fuck you. Fuck you. Ha! Fuck off! Like Sonic and our chuckle. Right there, stab my muscles. What the fuck is that thing? Shark fin. Oh, cool. Wasn't sad. You're a dumbass. That's what happened. That's what the bulge is. The bulge is that uh, arm's heart. Oh, that's gross just to think about. God can't catch me. Cracks attention and reduces Olfo's hit rate for the turn. I don't want to really throw my speeder in Kuba. Into the fray of things. Oh, that's a, that's an enemy. Albacore. 
Are you here because you didn't want to pay the toll? You're the third group I've seen this week. Going all this way is kind of inconvenient. Then at least you get to hold on to those sweet, sweet clams. You'll want to pay the last toll, though. Trust me. But I don't want to, though. a camera? Or is it a piece of... Okay, it's, it's a glowing crystal. <coughs> Go look at me! I'm hideous! Hey, look at me. Found a clam. Musical clamps and training. Please show them your support. Would you like to listen to this music clam? Yeah. These are important songs, they're just off-key, huh? Like, is that- is that Mari's theme, but off-key? That one's just disturbing. Is that the main theme? Huh. Well, that was just perfectly on key. Come back later. When I'm yeah, that was this one, wasn't it? That was this song. Got another gold watch. Okay, I'm wearing my sunglasses, so I'm gonna change this to game mode. 
so that I can actually fucking see. Got a rain cloud. Apparently I'm going to want to pay the last toll, so that means that what I probably actually want to do is pop out, recover all my shit. Oh! House! Fish boy. Catching and raising fish is a hobby of mine. It passes time and is moderately rewarding. Okay. Some fishing rods. They look like they're used often. Books about the many uses of fish, fish sauce, fish oil, and fish glue. There are also quite a few cookbooks. All the fish, but only the bones. Little sea plants. Boys futon, so it's like seaweed and vinegar. Oh fuck. A cold lantern. Lemonade. I'm all out of tuna. Rip, buddy. Darkness and silence of the night. What a thrill. That's good, because I don't actually know any more of that song. Big seashell. If you hold up a seashell deer, you can hear the ocean. That's not that impressive out here. I was wondering what would happen if I took my friends out here. There's nothing here. Okay, so we still got the spooky music. Oh! Yeah, let's, let's build some more to sandcastles! It's fun! Fun times! It's all fun times. We lost that entire area in the middle there. Wanted to eat some nutritious candy, yeah. But first... There's something I've been curious about. And we're gonna find out what happens, and I'm probably just gonna reload the save if something important happens. Well, wait, what? No. Whoa. 
everywhere just outside of my vision. <laughs> hey, I got some new content for you, huh? Ah, oh, yup. The whole time. Phantasms of Mari were waiting here in white space. No, it's definitely, yeah, I've been noticing that the whole time. Yo, Money! I'm so happy to see you! What's up, best friend? Did you miss me? Heh <laughs> heh. Hey, Omani. Welcome back. Are you ready to go? Yes. Alright, everyone. Let's go find Basil. Alright, okay. I figured that that would have, like, locked me into the next day without finishing the quest or something. But yeah, it's not gonna be like, hey, all these quests are dead now, so yeah, we're good. Oh, no, no, no. I just wanted to, uh, save up before, uh, walking to the other side of that other toll booth. Let's see how much it's gonna cost. No, fuck you. Oh, shit, fuck. I should have been reading it. Uh, hey, you want me to open this? Get 2,000 clams. Oh, you're too fucking poor? Oh, okay. But hey, no need to get down. I got a surefire way to help you out of this ordeal, see? Ahem. You just need to sign these papers, these papers, these papers, and these papers, and lo and behold, you'll have 2,000 claims just like that. Do you want to sign the papers? Come on, don't be a stranger. No, I'm just gonna fight the boss. And get the XP. Sad? It looks sad. I'm gonna try and sad it though.
Holy shit, it's still alive? Fish to go. <sighs> oh, good, so I eat pizza. Oh, bikers. I bet Aubrey would know how to talk to them. New potholes every day. Hope I'm getting paid overtime for this. Move along, move along, nothing to see here. Keep filling in the holes. They just keep coming back. Bah! Must have left my smoke sticks at home again. Hi, I'm Sadie. My sisters and I started this cafe together. But since clans have been tight, a lot of my sisters decided to start working at the last resort. Just me and my sister Eleanor were left. Ah, I wish they'd come back here. I would do anything to hear them sing again. Welcome to the mustard sub. May I take your order? Oh! There's SpaceX husband. God, that is the true fucking damning indictment of uh, the fucking food groups thing. Fucking. Bullshit ass dairy propaganda. Enjoy the best cheeseburgers in town. Fries, tasty soda, life jam, you name it. Or better yet, make it a combo meal. Uh huh. Three orders. Uh huh. Uh huh. I don't know. What can I ask? Okay, so you want four orders now. Do you want to dine in with your friends? Hell yeah. Oh, I'm ready. Always separate. The space pirates are a hoing away. The space pirates are a ho oh, they're just. To all those lost lovers out there, this one is for you. Space parents are entranced by their captain.
Oh, I, I love that. You don't get to interact with him. It's just... It's just what's happening in the background. A cool bag. Respect your community. I donate to charity. Be kind to others. Love yourself. Yeah, they are pretty cool bikers. Wanted for murder. Is that a girl with horse ears? things The important part? Shit. God damn it. Oh, these fucking fish. here if one turner becomes happy. This is all pretty.
general volume a little bit if I'm going to speak so low. <sighs> oh god. Go. That that fucking worked. All right. No. Damn it. Oh, I just got it. I just understood it. Everyone else has attacks that function with other people. Omri can only connect with people when he's maxed out his energy. And only briefly. Melon Samuthi. Burger. Okay, I'm not out of sad books yet. is yet. Oh, it deals more damage the less enemies there are. Okay. Oh. <laughs> eh. It's okay. Okay, all right. You and all your friends feel like new. real quick. Can't believe we really made it all the way to the end of the highway. 
But you did, and you should all be proud. Bridge at the top of this cliff leads to a place called Deeper Well. Word is that Deeper Well has been around for a long time, but the bridge wasn't there until recently. <laughs> also, fucking, why does the bridge up lead to Deeper Well? Who knows what's on the other side? You think that's where Basil is? We don't know for sure. But there's only one way to find out. Okay, well. That. Has pretty well solidified. What I'm gonna do. <laughs> oh shit. A clear bridge stretches across the trench. Do you want to cross it? Yes. place. There's so many cool plants around. I bet Basil would have really liked it here. Basil. He would have really liked it. Right, guys? Yeah. I'm sure he would have. Huh? What is it? Hey, I have a serious question. Do any of you remember what Basil looks like? Why do you ask that, hero? Let's see here. Basil. Basil loves taking care of flowers. Taking photos of his friends. He's warm, calm, and gentle. And even when he's upset, he'll always manage a smile. The rest is starting to get a little fuzzy. It's okay. Me too, hero. It's like I still miss him, but it's kind of hard to remember why. That doesn't change anything, right? Even if our memories aren't as strong as they used to be, we still have to save him. Hazel is our friend. And more importantly, he needs our help. You're right, Aubrey. I think we've all been apart from Basil for way too long. I'm sure we'll find him. As long as we have Omerty to keep us on track. This time, Basil has been waiting for us. He could be lost, lonely, or scared. I bet he could use a big hug right now. And then when we're all together again, we shall give him a big ol' hug. <laughs> Aww. It's nice to see you two getting along so well for a change. I could hug the both of you right now. <laughs> huh? Me and Kel? G get along? What are you talking about, hero? Stop being weird. <laughs> Relax, you two. I'm just playing around. Hold on, Basil. We're almost there. We'll all be together soon. Oh!
Your memories are not free. To gain a memory, another must be shrouded. And yet, all memories will eventually fade. Perhaps you've already noticed the curse of the deeper well. I see. So then, to save Basil, we've got to move on from Mari. There's the curse that I don't remember where the fuck I'm going. Empty. With time, what is important will change. You must choose what you will keep, and what you will cast away. Not everyone has that choice. Yeah, I mean... We've been haunted by the specter of Mari since the start. Since the very first moment... You open that door. Humans are bounded creatures. Your limits are what defines you. What makes you human. It, what makes me human is accidentally pressing A when I don't mean to. A lot. What if it's up to you? What if it's only up to you? Carry on, dreamer. You are the only one who can. The universe is full of questions that you will never answer. Yet, there are also ones that only you can answer. When the truth is revealed, what will you do? Yeah. I guess the question is, have we ever woken up once? It is selfish to dream for so long when there are those who are expecting you. Time will always move forward. Eventually the truth will become clear. You know this well, don't you, dreamer? trouble shows itself, there is always the choice to run. But one day, you may very well find yourself running alone. 
And the sun shined brighter when she was here. Yep. So Mari drowned in a well. Was it intentional? Time has passed since you have ventured this far. Deeper layers of his world open up as the dreamer grows more desperate. Even imagination is limited. You have questions that I can answer. Answers that you have forgotten. I will lay them out for you. If you are curious, you will choose. Oh, I get one of these, don't I? Nah. What I want, until I'll figure out that I'm wrong. Would like to know more about your lost friend. The friend you have lost is not in this world. The day he was removed, he was reborn elsewhere. He is special to you. A string of fate ties you two together. He cannot leave that place alone. To retrieve him, you will have to remove yourself as well, but in a way that is natural for this world, for headspace. This journey is nearing its end. You already know what you have to do, Dreamer. <laughs> hey, look at that! I get four questions! Jacques more of the Big Yellow Cat, before this world was created, there existed three great creatures. The oldest, the wisest, and the favorite. So, huh. Three great creatures. Oldest, wisest, and favorite. I'm assuming one of them's Mari, one of them's Hero. Okay. Hero is the oldest. The oldest is alive, but not the same as he once was. Age has removed his conscience, and he has evolved into a parasite within himself. He lives here, just beyond this cavern. <clears throat> the wisest, against her reason, committed an act that opposed the dreamer's will. It is an act that is not even known to me. So the wisest was, uh, Mari? I assume. As a result, she was stripped of her wisdom and banished to isolation. A special prison somewhere deep, deep down. And the last and favorite, the big yellow cat was chosen to watch over the Dreamer's most precious room. 
He remains the dreamer's favorite even to this day. Watching diligently. Waiting for something to happen. Yep, that's about right. So we have to kill the cat. To be in white space is to be nothing. Yep. It's the numbness, whereas black space is the trauma. White space is emptiness. A home without warmth. A place to survive, but not to live. Even still, your conscience cannot be erased. It will always find a way in. Even in white space, it will take the form. And if one wills it, something will be formed to subdue it. A hanging black light bulb. The repression of an idea. Oh. Yes. Perhaps it is time to admit that you are human, Dreamer. Oh. That's a good line. You have listened well. I have granted you knowledge, but know that I can also grant you power here. There is a challenge that will aid you greatly in this world. It is simple without thought, and if you succeed, I will be gone as well. I offer you this sacrifice. Will you take this opportunity? Now. I see you have chosen another path. However, my offer remains open. If you'd like to grow much stronger, speak to me again. I don't need power in this world. Oh, hey, look! It's the eyes! Unhallowed burden has been placed upon you. You have the power to change the future. What will you do, Dreamer? What will you do? How far will you go to save a friend? As far as I need to. picnic basket. Would you like to save? Yes. Inside of a whale. Inside of a whale. I don't have... I don't have all the keys yet. Uh... 
Well, that's why I made this save. Well, hello there, friends. The name is Humphrey. What brings you here to my humble little cave? Oh, hello, Humphrey. We're just looking for someone. Sorry for bothering you. Oh, no, not at all, children. I do love visitors. In fact, you are the second group to visit me today. The first was just a girl. A very loud girl with a big red bow. Doesn't that sound like someone we know? Huh? Is Sweetheart here? Where is she? Hmm. Where is she? Where is she? It's on the tip of my tongue. Well, then don't swallow. Nyak, nyak. That's a joke, it is. She is inside me, you see? She, she's inside you? Why, yes. She is visiting my guests. For I am also home to a family of sea witches. We spend our time together, chatting and chuckling. It is so fun to hear about their daily antics. Sometimes they are even so kind as to bring me my meals. It's much easier for them, you see, for they are closer to my belly than I. In fact, I'm sure they'd love even more visitors. Here, let me lower the bridge for you. And the bridge is the tongue. My apologies. The first guest seemed to be causing some indigestion. <laughs> nah. Oh, we Legend of Zelda now. Whoa, Humphrey's belly is huge! Sure looks easy to get lost in here. I bet if I yell, it'd make an echo! 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 Ah! Where'd you come from? Welcome to my lair! Are you surprised to see me? I am always here. I am inside me and all around you. <laughs> I'm everywhere! Or am I just here? Oh, yes. So, Hero is the whale. <laughs> So he's become a parasite within himself. I guess that means that he's the oldest. The wisest is Sweetheart? Wow, that's so cool, Humphrey! I wish I could do that. Oh yeah, yeah, no, don't, uh, don't answer me. It's kind of gross if you ask me. Wow, so rude. Hmm. There are many ways to go. Where should we even start? Left, right, up, around. Does it matter? It's all forward, isn't it? Just pick one. It's easy. Oh, okay. Those are the ribcage bones. All right. For a second, I thought that was the spider legs closing in on me. Hi, I'm Humphrey. Your all access pass to Humphrey, aka Slime Girl's Lair. Strictly speaking, I guess I'm what you humans call an elevator. Unfortunately, we can only take one appointment at a time, so you'll have to wait your turn. Though, if you can find me a slimy keycard, I might be able to pull some strings for you. Yak yak.
Waste. Waste. Whoa. Zero. Oh, hello, Marina. Are you here to steal my things again? Well, not this time. I prepared something extra special for you today. <laughs> As you know, I'm a very busy person. But alas, you are my sister. I will grant you access to my room if you are able to solve my little gift. Hope to see you soon, darling. If you're still alive, that is. Oh! The gift is a bomb! Type puzzle. Theme memorization. Difficulty hard. Do you wish to activate the puzzle? No. Theme pattern difficulty easy. Yeah, sure. Mari. Now, Money, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking to yourself. Wow, sis, this is a weird place to set up a picnic. Well, let me tell you. It may be recommended to only set up picnics in normal places like forests or in campsites. But where's the fun in that? What if I want to study the anatomy of a whale while I eat? Then what? Expand your mind, Omari. You need to set an example for my sometimes boring little brother. Wait. Did, did she said? Her little brother, but like. She said you need to or I need to. Guys, we can't relax right now. We got a puzzle to solve. Are you guys afraid of the bomb is going to explode? Just relax, Aubrey. We got this. There's people I know. That doesn't make me feel better at all. Okay, she needs to set an example for you. That's good. Wait, on screen says she set up for her sister, right? She wouldn't really let it explode on her sister. I don't know, Kel. Aubrey's right. We're in unfamiliar territory. It's probably better to play it safe. What do you think we should do, Mari? What do you think we should do? Uh-huh. Oh, I think you should do what your heart tells you. Thanks, Mari. I can always count on you. You're welcome. <laughs> uh. Got... No, wait. Okay. According to our test, it would seem that sprout moles grow from tofu. Who knew? Oh my! Surely these numbers aren't correct! Oh, wait! Seems that I've miscalculated. I guess they're not. This is Humphrey to Humphrey. Do you read me? Hmm. Yes. Have you tried turning it off and back on again? Ah, these results are quite unexpected. With this knowledge, I may be able to find the cure for mortality. We understand so little about this world, so we study it. Yet our research just fills us with even more questions. It is an endless and fruitless cycle. That's what I'm saying. According to the live feed, she's working hard on something in her workshop. Yeah, okay, I'll keep an eye on it. It's tough to get any actual work done around here, since Molly is always messing with our research. I wish I was assigned to Medusa's Quadrant. 
That's where they assign all the work hard, play hard types. I hear they even have a water slide. Ah, of course. The calculations are so simple when you put it that way. So if I multiply the result, subtract by infinity, then divide by zero, and carry the one, that would bring me to an imaginary number. Lab work in progress. Disturbed sparingly. there, friends. Would you like a Humphrey hint for 300 clams? Delicious! Here's your hint. I'll only say it once. A wise Humphrey once said, when all else fails, try reading from left to right. idea what I'm doing. Under construction. I'm preparing the entrance for our exciting new attraction, but it's not ready yet. You should come back later. Like tomorrow later. Gee, you popped in just as I was in the middle of fixing up this tube. even have any feedback to tell if I'm like making any kind of difference. Like, is this what I'm supposed to be doing is just like walking on these in the right order? Talk to all the Humphreys. I'll take another Humphrey hint. Here's your hint. I'll only say it once. From left to right. Oh, there it is. Did that. That's what I yeah, I tried that. Cause that that would have made sense. And I'm like, oh that makes sense, that's good. But then like no.
I can't leave anymore. I'm stuck in these two rooms. Uh, okay, I just hit something and it did something. Oh, the tubes? I believe both of those were locked. Nope, nothing changed. Out of order. Under construction, yep. Oh, hey. I didn't realize this was a hallway I could go down. Nuclear waste. Sweep, sweep, sweep. I can't believe I signed up for this. Greetings, visitors. Would you like to see something cool? This machine here can perform remote teleportation. With the power of modern technology, I can send this sprout mold to the other side of the grid. Take a look. What? An error? Someone must have messed with the program. <sighs> it was probably Molly again. She always pulls stunts like this. I can't believe I signed up for this. Dang it, Molly, everything worked so perfectly this morning. It works fine with me, just not with sprout moles. <laughs> Mumbo Jumbo. I'm all ready to go. I can't wait to show off the results of our research. We're testing. Prepare to be amazed. We're testing. Prepare to be amazed. We're testing. Prepare to be amazed. I should have gone through my notes one last time. An unfinished bag of potato chips. Hey there, visitors. I've been leading an experiment on Humphrey through Humphrey movement. You've come just in time to watch us conduct our final test. Are you ready, gang? Let's do it just like we practiced. Where'd everybody go? This, this wasn't in my plans. Oh, hey. Hmm. Oof. Erg. Hmm. Eh? Huh? What are you looking at me like that for? Can't you see that I'm busy? Actually, I just got an idea. On second thought, can one of you kids try running through these metal plates for me? Just want to test something. Why don't you discuss it amongst yourselves and vote? Ho! Let's do me! Okay, if you're sure, Omerty, just be careful. I don't have a good feeling about this. No! Aha! 
I knew one of these... I knew one of these spikes was broken. If I had a cup of coffee right now, I would sip it. Thanks for voluntarily risking your life. Well, I guess now I gotta go fix it. Oh no. Oh no! Type console, status broken. Well, I've... I've murdered a man. Sweep, sweep, sweep. Sweep, sweep, sweep. You know what, he didn't tell me about the consequences of what I was about to do. Fuck him. Oh! Molly told me to stand here, but I don't know why. Ah, hello, visitors. After months upon months of hard work and toil, I've successfully created the first ever Humphrey hologram machine. Don't they look just like the real thing? I couldn't be more proud. You can do this. We got your back. Uh... Reading from left to right, huh? Okay, so left middle, bottom middle, right middle, top middle. Oh, that's pretty simple, actually. Clockwise, we go! No? So that thing's just the sound effect button.
wouldn't be that. Is it the sweepers? No, because that would just be left nothing left. Or left nothing right left. Reading from left to right. Like, I guess I'll, I'll just ask, uh, and I want this, I do want the answer in this. Have I already gained enough? Like, do I know enough that I could technically figure it out? Like, do I have all of the, the knowledge, all the resources that I would need to technically be able to figure it out? Approaching my cutoff time, so I might want to just take a day on it and try and think of it. Like, Right, this is why I took the screenshots. All right, I've got one more thing to try. That's not right, because they're only... But... They're 
They're not in three space areas. They're in two space areas. I... fucked up. I fucked up. I opened the fucking Steam web interface by accident, and that means that now until I shut Steam down, my whole fucking computer is going to constantly chug. Oh, that's, that's great. Alright. Well, I'm getting pretty close to when I wanted to end. So, I am probably going to call it a night here, and then tomorrow I'll come back to this, and if I haven't come up with the solution by then, yeah, you can see my fucking, like, oh god, yeah, it's chugging, oh god. If I haven't come up with a solution by then, I... Oh god, the stream. Oh god, the stream. Oh god, the stream. <laughs> ah. Hold on. You know what? I I just saved. It wouldn't hurt to see those excellent those fucking shit again. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. I think. All right. I think. I think. That I'm mostly stabilized now? Question mark? I think I'm- I think I'm more or less good. So, alright! <laughs> Thanks to everybody watching live, chatting or lurking. Thanks to everyone watching along in the vods and on YouTube. I... Uh, Each and every one of you appreciate it. That's that's the words I was I was forgetting to, to say that I wanted to say. Uh yeah. These usually happen. Let me just remove auto point because I took my sunglasses off. Oh yes, my blinking is back now. I usually do these Fridays and Saturdays at 7 p.m. Central Time. Uh this week specifically. Also Thursday? No. Wednesday. Yes, Wednesday at 7 p.m. Central Time. It's a fun time. Come watch. Uh, you can also find me on twitch.tv slash Arakana. Arakanya. Where do stuff. We try and do stuff. Uh, I think maybe we might manage to get a one shot next Wednesday. I don't know, I've said we're gonna do it a lot lately, and then inevitably something happens right, right at the end, right next to it, and then we have to cancel. So, I'm gonna be working on something that doesn't need a static group of people. Hopefully that'll get done eventually. But yeah. I hope you had a fun time, Plutagra, Splatagra, good night, good life, good time zone. I'm gonna take another crack at this puzzle tomorrow. Already tomorrow. Goodbye.